So you know the protocol, like, I'm Sasha Sloan and you're watching Just a Spec. Just a Spec. Wanna do that? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Hi, I'm Sasha Sloan and you're watching Just a Spec. Hello, I'm Preston Blanchett from the UB Spectrum and I am here with... Sasha Sloan. And today we will be talking about music and the things that she loves and being here in Buffalo. So let's give it a go. Okay, so first off, you're on your first tour, I believe. I am, this is my first tour. And is this your last stop? Yeah, I thought you were gonna say is this is your last tour. Oh like, no. Maybe. Uh, I really hope not. So <laughs> okay, it's so it's stop. been sixteen uh, sixteen cities. Yeah. Seventeen tour dates. Yep. And what is it like? You know, it's really interesting because I'm a songwriter first. Yeah. So I didn't really expect I didn't know what to expect coming on tour. Yeah. And um, I'm on a tour bus, which is really weird, sleeping on a bus and yeah. having absolutely no personal space. Lots of downtime, but uh, it's really cool performing songs I've written for myself live because I've never gotten to do that. Yeah. And uh, seeing how like different cities react and yeah, it's been cool. And I know you'll be performing your own stuff here, but I wanted to bring up a question. Uh, you've written for like some of my favorite pop stars, uh, Camila Tanache. I wanted to ask you, uh, when you're like writing these songs, like what's the difference between something you'd write for yourself and then somebody else? Mm. This is really corny, but I think it's just a feeling. Yeah. Like when I write something, I just instantly know it's for me because it makes me feel something. Yeah. For other people, it makes me feel something, but in a different way. Um, and usually everything I write for myself is super personal. Yeah. And um, usually when I write other songs for, um, other artists, it's personal for them and not me. Yeah. If that makes sense. And I guess uh, seeing your own stuff become, you know, popular now, uh, you have three million, <laughs> th three million monthly streamers on Spotify, as well as eight million streams on Ready Yet. Yeah, and oh seven my god, you facts. Dude, I, I did my research. <laughs> seven million on Runaway. So I wanted to ask you, like, what is it like to see like something like never be the same, you know, be popular in its own sense, and then your own stuff kind of blow up in this way? You know, that's a really great question. It's two very different feelings, yeah. um, because never be the same. Um, it's really cool to watch Camila promote that, and I truly believe Camila is the only person who can sing that song. Yeah. And it's really cool watching that grow. And um, obviously, you know, she has a way bigger platform than me, so I mean, for me, like, I'm just happy people, I have one stream on my song. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I'm, I'm just cool with whatever. I'm just yeah. really happy that people like my stuff because as a pop writer, I've been used to being like, oh, you know, you have to have like hope in your songs and all this, like there's a lot of guidelines yeah. for radio and whatever. And for me, I kind of like go with those rules and um, it's cool seeing that kind of work in its own way. Yeah, totally. You know? that, yeah. And your new single, Normal, yeah. Uh, which I think it already has 3 million, which is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know it's like super more of a personal song, mm -hmm. it almost feels like. Uh, what was the process of writing that like? Um, you know the band Churches? Yes. Yeah, I actually wrote it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually wrote it with the two guys from Churches. Oh, yeah. The homies of mine. And we just were like, we just had a session and we were just hanging out, writing on piano and kind of like talking about how like LA parties are whack. Yeah. And uh, that's where that song came from. And yeah. Yeah. In the music video? I want to ask you about that. Yeah. Like, what was the process? Was that your first music video? That was my first music oh, video. Oh, dude. Like, what was the process of putting that thing together? Um, it was, it was pretty nerve-wracking for me because I'm really used to like the studio vibe and being behind the scenes and totally. anytime I'm in front of a camera I kind of like, like yeah. this, like I'm yeah. kind of awkward, but um, it was really fun. Yeah. The director was amazing and he made me feel really comfortable, yeah. so I think that was huge. And it was honestly just me like being myself like around LA, so yeah. it was, it was really chill, like no stress. And I know your face was on a billboard at Times Square, the Spotify one, right? It was. <laughs> so, who who told you about that? Like, how did you find out about that? Um, Spotify has just been like amazing supporters of me. Yeah. And um, they're just like, hey, we're gonna do this for you. And I was like, me? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is this the right person? <laughs> um, yeah. And once I found out, I was freaking out. What was your react? Like, what was your immediate reaction seeing that? I was pretty shook. Yeah. That's the only way okay. I can explain it. <laughs> so you stand to your it, it honestly didn't feel real. Yeah. I mean, I'm so used to seeing like 
songs that I've written with other people's faces yeah. on top of it. Yeah. But to see my own, it was like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> In a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah, I know you're gaining a lot of traction with labels sending you things. <laughs> I know Joy Wave tweeted that you've been getting a lot of gifts, and we have some here. Not yeah, that she's a I, I, got a, I got a white Russian mix today, Very which nice. I'm super happy about. What do you think is the one thing that a label could send you, and you'd be like, that's it? Oh my god, that's an amazing question. Labels keep your eye out? Honestly, I think a trampoline. Really? Yeah. Okay. The trampoline would be fire. I've always how, wanted one. How will one. that be shipped to you on tour? That's a question. They're just gonna have to figure that out. Okay. You know, that's up to them. Okay. They really want it. <laughs> Alright. And, uh, you have a new track in two weeks. What should we expect yeah. from that one? Um, I'm releasing two new songs on March 16th. Yeah. And, um, yeah, one is super emo. Yeah. It's just guitar and vocoder. And the other one is a little more upbeat. It kind of has a drop, which is new for me. Um, most of my stuff has been like relatively organic. Yeah. Um, with some electronic elements here and there, but um, yeah, one of them's actually not totally sad this time. One okay. of them's like kind of bittersweet, so like ha normal. Happy girl is It's real. about like one of them's about being scared to fall in love. Okay. Which okay. is it's on the it's on the up for me. Happiness. Okay, go. <laughs> and I know your last with normal you've had another single with it. So yeah. do you feel like two at once is like the way to go for you? Yeah, you know, I just have so many songs yeah. that I, I might as well just keep releasing content and honestly like you never know what's gonna react. Yeah. Like I think people behind the scenes kind of think and you you're like, Oh well this one's upbeat, like maybe people will love this one. But sometimes, you know, you just have to let the people decide, and it's just fun to release different vibes. Totally. And the people are loving you so far. And I wanted to ask you, uh, <laughs> it's my bold prediction that you're going to be huge pretty soon. So I wanted to ask you, Thanks. at the end of the day, what message do you want people to take away from your music? I think, for me, it's like, it's okay to feel like a weirdo, and it's okay to be sad and have feelings, and... Um, just be human. Yeah. I feel like a lot of pop music is, I listen to it when I work out. Yeah. And it's really fun and kind of dumb. Motivating. But yeah, but for me, the music that I grew up listening to is always really real and emotional. And for me, I think as long as it's coming from a real place for me, like I hope people can always connect to it. Totally. All right, well, thank you so much for your yeah, time. Yeah, thank really you. It was so nice meeting you. All right, yes.